Hello, how are you today? <laughs> um, yeah. I guess some stream so some streamers when they first go online, they don't like go online immediately. They just put up like a page that says streaming soon. Which I guess is just their bid to get people to tune in before they start streaming. I don't know. I don't stream for the viewers. At least I try not to. Like, I try not to dwell on viewership when I'm streaming. I try and uh, think about streaming and game dev when I'm streaming. But, uh, I don't know. I feel like I've exhausted a lot of the things that you sh I, I, I could say at the at when I when I first boot up the, uh, like, when I first connect. So I, uh, whatever. I'm, give, I'm just spewing this junk instead. Um, Alright, uh, yeah, no, whatever. <laughs> I think like yesterday I'm just going to get to it. Uh, because, actually, yeah, yesterday, uh, I stopped, not necessarily because I was at, like, a great stopping point, but because I, um, because chat was down and everything was really hard to test, so, <laughs> what did I do yesterday? Oh, yeah, I changed how, how events get reinitiated, so let's just check that out real fast. Swing, uh, and then I have my other, whatever, uh, cross. Uh, oh, did, what, are, what, are, what am I doing with timing currently? Oh. Actually, you know what else I can do is, uh... I can initialize an event as true, and then I can really save on, like, redundancy. Because this init event stuff, uh... that we're doing... Yeah, what is, what is the timing right now? It feels really long. Uh, 60 seconds, yeah. Alright, so it is really long. I'm gonna drop it back down to 15 seconds just for, for test purposes. And then, um, what else is I gonna do? Oh yeah, like all the, like all this stuff we can, well no, I guess we have to declare some of this stuff out here so that it's like, actually maybe I, maybe I don't even, but I, I will because I'm more comfortable with that mode. Um, <laughs> all right, so this seems okay. Let's see how this goes, uh, climb. Uh, climb, I guess. I don't know. Um, so. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, maybe if, if things are fine. No, I think things are fine now, so I'm, I'm not going to mess with them. But if I ever need to update it, like, uh, some of this stuff here is redundant to some of this stuff here, so. So I'm, I'm just going to leave it how it is. Uh, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I could change it, but... Oh, uh, right, okay, yeah, it's still going really slowly. Uh, so I'm going to restart the, uh, the script to speed it up. Uh, all right, so swing. And let's also swing... Um, mm -hmm. Yay. Alright, so I'm, I'm assuming this probably works fine. I just, uh, yesterday when I was, when I was working on this, I was nervous because, like, I was making changes, and I couldn't check to see that things seemed fine. Like, I couldn't even check, like, the very most basic thing to see if it, if it worked okay. Oh, and yeah, there's one thing that I... I started trying to work on, but then got stumped about. I might try and bring that back now that now that it's more testable. I mean, even yesterday, we were getting like weird errors trying to test it. So I'm assuming there's something wrong here, and that I'm not going to get any further with it today. But I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the thing that we were seeing yesterday is that, uh, oh, is it just going to work now that, whoa, look at that, it's almost kind of working, almost, oh, okay, oh, you know what, wow, so the, huh, weird, oh, you know what, you know, it's funny, it, and you know, it's probably, uh, Charlie, hey, uh, How's it going? Welcome. 
Uh, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, so I just realized why we were getting those weird errors yesterday. We were just going like, uh, we were just like going way freaking overboard with, uh, with this, and it actually works, except that we were going just intensely overboard with it. Because, like, um, I set the, uh, I set the update cooldown to be 10 seconds or so, but then I never actually set the cooldown, or I never actually, uh, so pev, uh, update, uh, equals, uh, frame time. Oh, no, this isn't in frame, is it? No, this is in frame, yeah. Uh, frame, uh, time, uh, plus, uh, pev, update. <laughs> cooldown wow so yeah those weird errors we were getting yesterday just is just because it was evaluating too much it was evaluating every frame and this was way too much to evaluate every frame and that's why it was screwing up and other than that it seems like it actually works which is awesome so yeah wow all right i was sad to see this feature go uh because it implied that i wouldn't be able to do very well this other thing that i kind of wanted to do um, and again, like, the other thing that I kind of wanted to do, like, the, so I, I wanted to have a mode where I could basically, like, just call user input, and, uh, yeah, they, they, that mode was kind of predicated on this thing working, and, and now this thing works, so fantastic. The, the wonders of actually having your technology up and running. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, chat stays, uh stays up. I won't jinx it. You know what? <laughs> I'm not going to jinx it. Um, so, um, uh, what now? We could, oh yeah, so what I want to work on mostly today is, uh, adding new visuals, but, ooh, I mean, that was, that was what I wanted to work on, but now that we actually have this working, I might go do the, uh, I might do the, the other thing instead. Uh. <laughs> oh man. All right, so Actually, there's one thing I haven't really tested yet, and I don't know what it'll do. What happens if I start an event and end it before anyone participates? So like I make my own event. Oh wait, I should change the timing again. So otherwise I'm going to get keep getting interrupted by uh Spontaneous events. Uh, all right, so so that's like an arbitrarily large number. Uh, run this, and um, oh, I haven't tested the delay events button yet either. Delay events. Delay events. All right, well, <laughs> could be working. <laughs> I cannot prove or disprove whether it's working. Uh, I should test it though. I should test it in a real way. Uh, all right, so I'm just make a. I'm just gonna bring this up, and I'm just gonna look for look at. I'm just gonna do whatever. Like, all right. So, uh, this event is kind of dumb, uh, and then I'm just gonna start it, and then I'm gonna stop it. Huh? Yeah, look at that. It's, I think it worked because it moved it right onto the next event. So that's good. That's good that it just kind of happens automatically. I think I want to. change something there oh oh you know what's happening i i actually i had like some i had something set up to uh to filter for events that don't get activity i'm guessing that is triggering so like what is it it's a. Uh, so what is the i'm not call avail uh, uh not stats called uh I don't know, maybe I'm not. Hmm. I thought I was keeping track of whether an event had been played at all. But maybe I didn't maybe I didn't do that. I was thinking of doing that at one point. I thought I might have done that, but I apparently did not. Um, hmm. um so Oh yeah, alright. Actually I'm gonna test something else real quick. Uh so Shiver, or no, that's not a real one. Uh, <laughs> that end. Um, all right, I'm gonna end this event, and then I'm gonna use the uh, I'm gonna use the delay events button to see if that actually delays events. Uh, 
Yay, cool. All right, so I click the event now, and uh, that um oh hmm it's a little dangerous to have uh to have these event to have this text field populate like that because if I accidentally hit the Excelsior button, uh, hey Aaron, how's it going? Welcome. Uh. Uh, it's a little dangerous to have this box populated such because if I accidentally hit the Excelsior button, it would start like the weirdest event. So I mean, it would work. It would just <laughs> it would just be really weird. So what do I want to do there? Um, uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Um. I. Uh, New visuals <laughs> is kind of the theme. Um, I get yeah. I don't know. I guess uh, I don't know. I just I was just like uh, I try and uh, I dress for comfort, like my own personal comfort. And um, right now, this is actually just comfortable. So I don't know. I guess I guess just the turning of the seasons is like the only real occasion. But um, uh, also, I got a, a haircut. It didn't come out quite how I wanted it to come out, but, I don't know, it, it was like this, this sweet old man, and I didn't feel like telling him that, <laughs> I don't know, I'm really polite about, uh, I try and be very polite about haircuts, um, because if you're going to make a mistake giving someone a haircut, it's better to make the mistake of not taking enough off than taking too much off, because if you don't take enough off, then that's, that's fixable, if you take too much off, that's, that takes a lot longer to fix, um, <laughs> I am, you know, it's really sad, I, this is really off topic, but the, one of the primary reasons that I haven't been on a date in a really long time is that I, um, uh, I resubscribed <laughs> to an MMO, <laughs> and now I, um, now every night I have a date with, uh, some orcs. <laughs> Because I'm a nerd. Um, Alright, so delay event seems to be working too, because we haven't gotten any events, but the script's still running, and the timing is still uh, is still whatever. So I think if I actually did, like, um, uh, so what's with this event? Uh, if I just start an event, and then end it, whatever, uh, then in a short amount of time, yeah, it comes back. and it, um, Actually, that was a very short amount of time. It seems like almost too short an amount of time. <laughs> so I should probably, instead of just, like, whatever, like, just going with the fact that it kind of works now, I should probably actually, like, check that it works. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um... I am a nerd. I am an unequivocal nerd. I already canceled my account, though. I, I resubscribed to an MMO because I couldn't resist the allure of a new expansion pack. But I've already recanceled my account, so now I just have the rest of the month for my game time to run out, and then and then I'm good. I think. And then I'm back to uh, I'm back to reality. <laughs> um, all right. So um, yeah, right. So it's actually a little surprising that it actually just naturally works like this because. I haven't really set up anything to check that it that it actually worked. Um, I mean, what can we, what do we have to do here, or what should we do here? Because a lot of this we can just skip. We can just uh, oh, event played. Oh, so I am doing a lot of stuff with event played. But wait, no, what am I doing? How am I how am I determining that event has been played? If event on, oh. Oh, okay, we are doing it. All right, so so what, what do we do in the else case of event played? Oh, we do the overtime thing. Okay, but we're going to have to change the overtime thing because overtime is what we do when the event was prescripted, but when the event was live, we, um, we want to do something else instead. We want to... Uh, so this must be the else case for... Uh, this must be the else case... Yeah, because this is where we handle overtime. All right, good. So, uh, so I'll just yeah, I'll just set. So overtime is still pertinent in the case that. 
It's just a prescription event. It's less pertinent, but it is still pertinent. Oh. Oh. Actually, I might want to change how overtime works. Or... Ooh, this is interesting. Because when over... Okay, so what happens currently in... in uh, that's good. Uh, that's, uh... Well, I do like to try... I do like to play other games, not just my own games. Or, like, I, I try and play other people's games. I try and, like, support other people who make games. Um, but... Yeah, I try and spend, like, a reasonable amount of time doing stuff like that. <laughs> Thank you, Tom, by the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like nerds. I just, uh... I, I have to like nerds, <laughs> because that's the only way I can like myself. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so what happens now is... Uh, or in the, So back when the system was entirely prescripted, and there were no live events... What would happen is, if no one participated in... So, like, events have a duration, right? So, you know, I think it's, like... I, I change it a lot, but I think, I think like, usually it's around, like, 60 seconds or so. Like, that seems about average. Uh, and then... So you have 60 seconds to participate. And at the end of those 60 seconds, the event ends. However, if no one had participated, like, if no one was in chat, like, if it was, like, the... You know, if I had just fired up the stream and no one was here yet... Uh... Uh... <laughs> Um, <laughs> I, uh, you are welcome to make that shit if you are so inclined. <laughs> um, yeah, so if, if no one participated in an event, it would go into overtime. And what would happen is the event would continue to be, to, to remain active. Um, and, but then, so there would be an extended overtime period. And during the overtime period, anyone could, like, could enter a thing oh yeah and so uh, as soon as they entered a uh, thing then uh then it instead of instead of uh staying in overtime and running excessively long it would then end like you know i think like 15 seconds later so it would basically like as soon as someone participated then the timer would be set to like 15 more seconds and then the event would terminate um i think what we want to do here so in case we have to interrupt uh an event that's in overtime Hopefully I won't have to do this very often, but in case we do have to uh, interrupt an event that's in overtime. I... Or, I don't know, there might be some situations where I actually want to interrupt an, a, an active event, like a, an event that's, that's like, not in overtime, that's still in, like, regular time, and, uh, I don't know. Yeah, so I think I might want to just... Hmm. Uh, Kadi, Kadi, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, yeah, we, we added some new visuals today. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, w uh, yeah, I'm trying to decide how much power I want to give myself, because, like, on the one hand, if I, I can make it so that this button, like, can just destroy any current event, and, like, and can, uh, just, uh, you know, really, just have, like, the ultimate power, but, like, that means I can also mess up with the ultimate power, like, if I have ultimate power, then, then when I mess up, I could actually, like, ruin things that are not bad. <laughs> actually, you know what's funny is, um, I don't like this shirt, because it doesn't fit, but it doesn't fit around the waist, and I was like, wait, but they don't see my waist on screen, so... <laughs> I get to wear the shirt again, which I otherwise very much like. It's just a nice shirt. It's, like, comfortable. It's, like, I like, uh, I don't know if you can tell. It's, like, I don't know, it just has, like, a nice, like, blue and red, like, stitch to it. It's, like, I don't know. I, yeah, anyways. <laughs> so, um, so maybe I'll just give myself the power to cancel an event in overtime. Although, if I, that's a little ambiguous, though, because there's actually no overt indication when an event switches from regular time to overtime. So first things first, let's, uh, before we worry about overtime, let's, let's just handle the cancellation of a live event that, um, 
cancellation of a live event that, uh, what are we doing? Oh, no, yeah, there, sorry. <laughs> uh, the cancellation of a live event that, um, was, was manually initiated and man manually terminated. So, uh, that is simple. That part, it, we could just do, all we have to do is, uh, if, uh, curve.live, then we do one thing, and then, uh, else, we do what we used to do. Um, uh, wait, if overtime, event time equals frame time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so all that happens if, if, if overtime runs out is that it just resets the clock. It just uh, it just immediately goes to another event. Um. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It occurred to me that, I don't know. Some people might literally have been uncomfortable, like, previously. That I'd, It's so funny, like, literally, I could just be wearing, like, a collar right now. I don't actually have to be wearing an entire shirt. I could be just wearing a bib right now, and, like, it would give the impression that I was wearing a shirt. But without that, that subtle impression, like, some people could have... And some people actually did express that they did not care for the fact that I was not wearing a bib. But now I'm wearing a bib, so <laughs> now everyone can be happy. <laughs> um, so what do we do if... Uh, so, right, if it was Kurt... If it was just, uh, it was just this, then all we have to do is... Uh, just terminate the event. And we should... I guess we might want to give some indication of that. No, we don't have to, because... Oh, d actually, no. I guess we should. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, what do I want to have happen if I cancel an event? Uh, I, it's not going to happen very often, so I can just, I can give something, I can just do something stupid, like, say, uh, uh, event, uh, event terminated, or something, I don't know, I just, it's not going to happen very often, I just, I guess, I just prefer that at least something happens, right? Uh, oh, although that might not actually print, huh. Maybe I should use a queue system for saying, because right now, if like if the if if Journeybot tries to say two things too quickly, uh, there's there's an inhibitor so that that doesn't happen. But right now, it just discards the other message. I should probably put in a queue system so that instead, Journeybot waits a reasonable amount of time and then says the thing that he would have said. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, no, this is, uh, this is, um, we hit an error yesterday, and so we started looking at, uh, the, the nuts and bolts of Tkinter. Um, so no, this, I assure you, there's still only this one file. Um, <laughs> I may have changed, but, uh, not radically. Uh, <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just gonna finagle this stuff. Oh, uh. All right, I'm gonna move it. Sorry, I'm just moving this frame somewhere more convenient. Uh, like, uh, where is it? I'll just put it. I'll just put it. I don't know. No, uh, here is fine, I guess. Whoa, did that? Okay, I still have my other things that I can look at. All right, cool. Uh, just because it was blocking, it was blocking my uh, frame rate meter on OBS, and I just like to have that on screen. Anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, so, event term, yes, okay, yeah, you know what, I think I'm going to change the say system, because, like, the stuff that, like, Journeybot, I don't want Journeybot to say much, but I do, oh, hmm, no, you know what, I don't care about that, because I don't want Journeybot to say much, so I don't ever want to get into the case where I really have to do stuff like that, do I, hmm, 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 I really don't want Journeybot to. Blah, 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 blah. I really don't want Journeybot to be that talkative. So, 
Uh, well, this would be a good feature to have. Like, maybe I'll just... I just won't have any unpredictable text. Like, the only the only unpredictable thing he does now is to, is to respond to stats calls. Um, and so if... If the only, the only risk now... So maybe I'll just take out stats? Stat calls? Uh, mm, no, I can't... I, I shouldn't really take out stats calls until... Until after... I put in the new stats, uh, stats print system. Uh, that is the worst, isn't it, Aaron Scope? And then, uh, and then, uh, and then you start getting letters, or you start getting, oh, well, I don't know, the, the whole process is just, like, it's just, like, so, like, um, I feel the same way when I get, uh, emails from, like, recruiters and stuff like that. So he's like, what's this one going to say? <laughs> um, so, what, uh, yeah, do, I, no, I'm not going to add that thing that I described. What, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a delay for, uh, The, the, the termination button, or extend the delay for the termination button. Um, actually, I could use the same delay value, maybe? I don't know. Uh, what, is it, what am I doing currently? There's like, uh, there's pev, uh, create cooldown, right? Um, and then there's also say cooldown. So I could just have pev create cooldown equal say cooldown, and then I wouldn't really have to worry about that as much. But, I mean, now that I think about it, like, fixing the say system wouldn't be weird either. It'd actually be really, it'd be relatively easy. <laughs> um, I don't know, Aaron. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so, yeah. Or no. Or both. I'm gonna do both. <laughs> um... <laughs> um so, um, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, right, uh, so, so maybe I'll, yeah, maybe I will just make the say system smarter. Mm, nah, I, no, I, no, I'm gonna make the whole system smart, and so then by extension, the say system will be naturally smart. All right, uh, yeah. And for now, I'll just make the, uh, for now, I'll just hotfix it by making sure that the create cooldown is uh, equal to the say cooldown. Uh, save that. Um, <laughs> so, so now I can do. Uh, now I can do uh, user uh, or like write-ins. I could do write-ins. Oh, which means I should put back the write-in button. I can put back the write-in button. <laughs> um, so, yeah, write-ins, I think, are going to function very differently. Like, it's going to be, like, a whole different mode, really. Uh, so it's probably a little weird to have it as a checkbox. Like, really, it should be another radio button. Oh, it can be another radio button. Yeah, that's easy enough. Uh... Right? Easy enough, right? Oh. Hmm. Do I do want it to be another mode, right? Yeah, because it's going to function very different. It's going to function very fundamentally differently. Um, oh, I should have, I should have, uh, I didn't know I was going to do this today, so I haven't, I haven't spruced up my chat filter, although I know I have to spruce up my chat filter before I, uh, before I can fully implement this feature, or before I can start using this feature. Um, so, uh, really interested to understand job interview works in other countries. Um. Yeah, I don't, 
Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I guess I don't know if there is, like, what, how, um, yeah, I only have, like, the, 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 uh, experience that I have, uh, I, like, my only experience really, no, the majority of my experience, like, for, in the, like, the job interview process has been in this country, although, that's not actually 100% true, because I've, you know, I've, like, applied to jobs in, like, other weird places, too, like, Iceland, and, like, Serbia and like Singapore <laughs> so I guess I do technically have some experience with like that from what I can tell it's all similar and all I don't know it's all weird to me like liter like job searching in my like hometown is weird to me job searching anywhere is weird to me because like I don't like it I, I don't know I don't know how to describe it I just like the whole like process of proving yourself is really for me it's just really awkward and I don't, I don't enjoy it it's like it's just a necessary evil mostly um all right so yeah I want this to be another mode right just a completely different mode just like a completely disparate mode so yeah all right I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure about that so the first thing I can do is I can get rid of write in as a value I mean I could uh so it's basically just going to be so yeah it's not a check button anymore it's now a radio button uh, uh, the variable is not pev write in because that doesn't exist anymore. It's uh, pev type, right? Uh, the value is uh, the text is write in. The value, yeah, uh, the value is, I guess, just five. Uh, save that. Um, Column three, row span. Yeah, that that all, that all seems okay. Uh, yeah. So all right. So now, now yeah. There's no such thing as pev write in. Wait, we were never. We're never declaring this as a global. We were just trying to reference it. That's weird. Uh, I'm just. All right. So this is the only place that shows up. That's weird. Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah, we can get rid of this. Oh. Uh. Yeah. So yeah. So this is a little weird. Um. So global pev type, right? And so instead of just saying new ev type equals pev type dot get, uh, we're going to say, uh, if, uh, if pev type dot get, uh, equals five, which is our write in, uh, five equals write in, um, then, uh, then we were going to set, uh, uh, uh new ev, dot write in uh, equals true, capital T true, um, and then else we're going to set uh, a new ev type to be pev type dot get, all right, else uh, colon. All right, uh, so what is, what is pev, what is new ev type going to initialize? I mean, it doesn't super matter, but what is it initialized to if we don't actually set it? Uh, zero. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, what would, what studio, wait, so are you asking like where I would get a job if I had to get another job? Um, that's a good question. I think part of the reason that I'm not really super enthusiastic about that route is because, I don't know. Oh yeah, no. Oh yeah. But one of the tough things is that like in the games industry, like, People, um, like, the projects that people work on stay, like, um, I mean, this, you, you'll recognize that this is not true of uh, my current position, but uh, it's true of, like, most of the, I applied there. I applied at, uh, that, when I said, when I said I, I applied a job in Iceland, it was at CCP. Um, the thing about the CCP, though, is that their games don't actually appeal to me, which is a little weird. Um, like, I, I respect what, um... What's the EVE Online? I respect what they're doing with that game. Um, 
but it just it's so detached and impersonal that it actually doesn't really appeal to me maybe if i like really started to get into it i could get into it but like i just look at it and i'm like that's so cold and and unappealing and like i i don't that's i don't that's i don't want to go there like why would i go there uh uh voluntarily <laughs> let alone spend my time that way but um yeah uh oh yeah so what i was gonna say is uh i mean apart from like what i'm doing here and i, I realize that this is a little different but like most of of game development is like very secretive it's very under wraps and like you never really get to know what's going on um until uh until the like big announcement like right before the product is like released like i mean you know sometimes you get like hints and bits and dribs and drabs here and there but it's it's so under wraps that like i'm pretty sure there are companies out there that i would be thrilled to work at but um i don't know about them yet because they haven't announced the project that i'm excited to work on yet so i don't know uh where else have i applied like everywhere <laughs> not literally but I, I just like i mean i've been sending my resume places um and I've, I've heard back from a few places, and, like, you know, I've had, a few, had interviews here and there, but, um, I don't know. It's tough, because, like, like, sometimes, like, a recruiter will be really excited, and, like, I want to be excited, too, except they're a recruiter for, like, a studio that makes, like, games that I would be really sad to have to work on. <laughs> and so, like, I don't know, I like, um, I like the idea of not dying homeless and starving in the streets, but on the other hand, I don't necessarily like the idea of, like, working on products that I despise or just don't like uh, in order to avoid that fate. So I'm still, I'm still holding out hope that I'll, I'll, I'll make things that I like and that I think make the world a better place um, and that um, I don't die starving and alone in the streets. Uh, we'll see. Uh, stay, stay tuned in. <laughs> If I ever, like, don't stream for a full week, it probably means that I, I, <laughs> well, we won't, we won't worry about that yet. <laughs> um, oh my god, I, I can't tell if you're joking, Caddis, but you know that I hate Python, right? <laughs> I think, uh, I'm guessing from the smiley face, <laughs> you know that I hate Python. <laughs> I don't, I don't hate Python, but I think, oh, anyways, um, online admissions only? I don't like arbitrary restrictions of any kind. Like, when someone says, you can't do this, my initial reaction is, I want to prove to them that I can do that. Like, that's the first thing I think. <laughs> so, like, if a company said online admissions only, I'd be like, I'm going to write them a really good handwritten application, and they can suck on that. <laughs> um, Nintendo, they have really bad gender representation in games. I'm sorry, but, like, they're just really bad at that. They made a game called, um, <laughs> I know this, this probably seems trivial, but like, uh, Super Princess Pe Peach. Is this the one I'm thinking of? Like the D is this the DS game? If this is it, like they literally made a game where Princess Peach was the hero, hypothetically. And like, she gets her way by crying and by throwing a tantrum, and what the heck, what the heck, like, if, apart from the fact that we didn't have Nintendo DS's back in the 18th century, I would have guessed that that game came from the 18th century, like, honestly, like, no, like, those people can, like, all sit in a circle and feel really bad about themselves, is what they can do, and no, I don't want to work with them, um, <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, I, uh, Arcane Studio. Yeah. Do, do you want me to, <laughs> do you want me to tell you why I don't want to work there? <laughs> um, uh, I have applied to Naughty Dog. They have a really easy, <laughs> they have a really easy application process, so I'll tend to send them my resume just because of how easy it is. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna stop talking about that, because I really don't care about it. I mean, like, I, I care about it, but that's not why I stream, so that was, that was a fun discussion, and now we'll move, we'll get back to the other stuff, the important stuff. 
Um, uh, right, so we what we're doing? Oh yeah, we so we're we're ready to add in. We're, we're yeah, we're like getting to the point where we can like. All right, so actually here I'm gonna rerun the script just to see what we did to our interface because it should now be all right. So now now right in is a is an alternative to these ones. So it's a little weird how it's set up, but I don't know. What if? Uh, Uh, all right. Um, so yeah. All right. So now we now we just have to handle. Uh, now we just have to handle this. Now we have to, we have to handle this very differently, like in very fundamental ways. Because okay, so for one thing, we're no longer like now we're when this is when this mode is active, we're no longer. Um, we are no longer. Ooh, oh the regex stuff, right. I have to, I guess I have to do the regex stuff now. I stopped looking into the regex stuff once I once I set this aside. But um, guys, I, t I said that discussion's over, so that discussion's over. Um, feel free to ask questions, but I'm just going to ignore you. Um, so, uh, or if you like want, if if you if you're like legitimately curious about this stuff, which has nothing to do with the current stream, like contact me via Twitter or something. Like this is not what we're streaming about, so please stop. Um, wh uh, what, uh, I'm just gonna deactivate chat for a minute. I mean, it's not like gone, it's just not on screen anymore. Uh, so, um, uh, Lion, hey, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> um, I have psychic powers, that's how I can tell Lion arrives. <laughs> um, so, uh, actually, I have it on my other computer. It's, <laughs> it's over there. <laughs> I can still see chat. Um, all right, so, um, uh, what, what the what? We are going to, uh, yeah, uh, so, yeah, right, reg regex, or regex, or regex, whatever you want to call it. Regex is the weirdest sounding one, but technically the correct one, I feel like. Regex is what I always call it, and then rejects is a hilarious thing that I guess some people call it. <laughs> so, um, what was it? It was like, yeah, so Python, or I'll just look at the, the legit Python docs for rejects. Regex. Ooh, I'm, maybe, I'm, maybe I'll start calling it rejects. It's cute. Uh, Alright, so that's not is this? Oh. Class supports the following methods and attributes. Search. Scan through string. Oh, cool. Alright, so this is really simple. Scan through string, looking for a location where this regular expression produces a match. Oh, fantastic. And return a corresponding match object instance. <laughs> match object instance. Alright. <laughs> I'll have to figure out what the heck that is. Oh, good, it's a link. Uh, return none if no position in the string match that. That this is different from finding a zero length match. Huh. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. So this could be the... the. So, alright, so the two things that... I w so I was planning on... So I was planning on working on new visuals first thing today, but because we got this other thing working, we're... Um, we're going to first uh, do. Uh, we're first gonna, I, I think, add in the write in the multi features. So the interesting thing is that write in and multi, in and of themselves, are not such major features. But then there's also interplay between write in and multi. So for example, if if we go to write in mode and we activate multi, then um, then I was I'm, I'm reminded of that because what was it that we just went no, that uh, we just looked so so here. Like we we have the optional string or we have the optional parameter to uh, to to indicate the index in the string where to search where the search start. So like uh, for uh, for for non multi we can just stop at the first one. Uh, but for um, uh, for the for the first one. Uh, 
Yeah, we can just we can just say that's fine. That's just how it works. If multi's not on, just you. I don't know. Technically, it would make a little more sense to use the last one instead of uh, official Ponty. Hey, welcome, welcome to the channel. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, technically, mm, technically the way it works, it, like the last one actually makes a little more sense. But no, the first one's fine. So then, but then, uh, yeah, no. In the case that multi is activated, we'll want to get all of them. So we'll want to search for the first one and then search again, starting at the end of the first one for potentially another one, and then uh, so on and so forth. So, uh, so, so. All right, all right. So then let's yeah. What, so that gives so that's how we search, and then what gives us it gives us a match object, which is what a match object uh match objects have a boolean value of true wait always have a boolean value wait match objects are just bool bools i don't care about i want the i want the thing i don't want just a uh... Uh, oh, yeah, so today, all right, so we added, I don't know if, if you, you are here when we did the, uh, event panel, I think, like, whoops, I always do that, whoa, no, not right now, I don't, no, not right now, no, stop, uh, OBS was trying to, like, update or something, um, yeah, so, uh, I think you were here when we added in the events panel, sorry, I accidentally minimized everything, as I tend to do, um, so, uh, Where'd everything go? <laughs> Sorry, just bring it all back. Um, so uh, yeah, and then um, today today we're adding so right it so so it mostly works, but now I'm adding in the option for for write-ins and for uh, for multi uh, like multi voting. So like instead of just voting for a single option, you can vote for you know multiple options if you if you like multiple options that sort of thing. Uh, what do you? I'm responding to what you're saying, Vordalos. Of course, I can hear you, and the chat's back on screen, on on uh, on screen. Sorry, but yes, yeah, so I'm. Come on, pay attention. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, anyways, I'm gonna stop responding to you guys if you guys can't behave yourself. But, <laughs> um, so, uh, yes. All right, so. Match objects. We. I just want. I don't like care about the other things. Uh, I don't. I. I don't understand what you're doing right now. So sorry. I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Um, <laughs> uh, so all right. So. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, So if we're running a search and we're getting back a match object, hypothetically we want, um, oh, what's this? Match group for the string. Oh, is that for like multi-searching, uh, max meter? Um, uh, or max, sorry, max Meyer. <laughs> um, so, uh, the, um, yeah. Okay. So that's cool. I'll uh, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, I'll make a note of that uh, so that when we get to that point, yeah. Because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that yet, but uh, we, I will want to do that at some point. Um, so uh, so yeah. Um, return the oh return the string obtained by doing wait backslash substitution. Wait. If uh, <laughs> All right, again, yeah, that's that that could be interesting at some point. I'll uh, I'll let you know. Uh, oh, is that oh is that with this? Oh, you're telling me how to get the oh you're okay cool. All right, sorry, I I assumed like this group group makes it sound like I don't know group group just made me think multi, but apparent okay so group is what um. Group is just how I get the string back? Of course. Why? Pfft, that makes sense. I don't know. Whatever. Um, whoops. Don't, did not mean to click that. All right. Um, so, one or more subgroups of the match. 
there's a oh and so i guess so it, it automatically does the i don't know it automatically gets all of the matches i don't know uh <laughs> we'll figure this out i suppose <laughs> at some point so um if there okay if there are multiple arguments this results in a tuple and one item per argument uh without arguments group one defaults to zero the whole m Why does it say group one? Hmm. Weird. Uh, <laughs> is he? <laughs> yes, he is still working on JourneyBot. <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> the, uh, All right, so what's this business about group? <laughs> group index. So how does it index? I'm paranoid about how things index now because uh, um, <laughs> I'm paranoid about how thing in things index because uh, uh, thank you, Wordless. Um, I can't uh, because I because T Kinter was making me index with floats. Like it was literally rejecting my. Uh, Oh. Wait, what? I assume this is like I assume this system is set up to be like really flexible and like work in a lot of different cases because it sure is not intuitive for the the obvious case like where I literally <laughs> I literally just want to search for a thing and find that thing. Um Oh, is this No. What is this 1.99 like what? All right. Um. <laughs> uh. One or more subgroups of the match. What? It'd be nice if it instead just returned a string. Like that'd be. <laughs> that'd be nice too. Oh, if there's a single argument, the result is a single string. Hey, fantastic. Uh. So, all right, I'll just plug indexes in. It, just, it doesn't seem to want to be upfront about how to how it <laughs> handles index. And maybe that's because oh, look, here we go. So they're using numbers. Yeah. All right. So, oh, zero is the entire match. Oh, weird. And why does it call this a parenthesized subgroup? Like, just be be a parent. Call it a string. <laughs> if it's a string, or if it's not a string, don't say that you're returning a single string. Either way, <laughs> like, uh, all right, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, let's, uh, oh yeah, so I think the first thing I need to do is, like, using regex or something, or import regex, which I don't know how to invoke its name, regex, maybe, I don't know. Do you like that? Do you like that? No, you don't like that. Regex lowercase r regex. No, you don't like that either. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so. Just re. Oh, it's just re. That's simple and does not work. <laughs> oh, you're just complaining that I'm not using it. Oh, you weirdo. <laughs> oh, Python, you weirdo. So I guess I'll just assume it's re and start using it and see what that does. Um, so re.search. Maybe. I don't know. Let's try that. Uh, 
so oh yeah all right so yeah let's try before we try to what is this sometimes it's just like sp spam so hard that like oh no it was doing this before chat went down yesterday wasn't it or no no i don't know what this is about i'm just gonna kill it and start it again whoop I, I, yeah, I don't know if that's, if that was IRC freaking out, or if it was the bot freaking out. Um, actually, no, I should, yeah, I should see if that happens again. Because it's basically just running in the background. So I'll just let it run in the background and see if, I think it's possible that I just have, like, a, a small hole somewhere that makes it freak out like that. Um, so... Yeah, all right, so before um, before trying to hook up uh, fully the user input stuff, I'm going to try using regex for uh, for this stuff, this the, 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 uh, the other place where it would be nice, where, where it would be useful. Um, so, EV text, right, say EV text, new ev, all right, so this is where we go with the old approach, so here I'll put in instead the, um, I'll say, oh, oh, yeah, so I'll say, like, uh, red search, uh, equals, uh, we need our search string, right, because we need, we need to know what to search for, and, uh, our search string, actually, no, we can probably just plug in our string directly. We don't need to make like a string variable or whatever. Uh, so I'll say instead, uh, uh, I'll just call it like research. <laughs> Delightful. And I, I amuse myself. Uh, research equals uh, re dot search, search, whatever. Re dot search, search. There we go. Uh, and then, so yeah, so the, what we're looking for is what? It is, uh, oh yeah, we were looking, we, we were doing this yesterday. Uh, oh yeah, I looked up, up what is it, Python, uh, or no, uh, regex, uh, hashtag, uh, what was it? So, oh yeah, slash B to indicate the beginning of a word and the hashtag symbol, and then W's to do alphanumeric, which apparently we're letting, we're, apparently the hashtags are alphanumeric, or the action terms or whatever are alphanumeric. I don't want them to be necessarily, but I also don't care if they are. So, wait, what was it? It was, uh, it was, uh, uh regex, uh, what was it, slash B? Was that... Oh, backslash b word boundary backslash b uh, backslash b lowercase b and then uh, and then we're using the action symbol because uh, it might not be the hash it might not be the pound sign it might um I might want to change that at some point so action uh, sim uh, and then pl uh, plus uh, what was it? It was like slash w, slash w plus, I think. Well, uh, that means, so we're looking for at least one other alphanumeric character, and then any number, whoops, uh, any number of more alphanumeric characters. Uh, save that. And, uh, what? We, what? Yes, that's... <laughs> I declare a variable. It's like you're not using the variable. You're not using the variable. <laughs> Python, or maybe actually it was probably just this IDE. I should probably just get a new IDE. I keep people keep, people say nice things about PyCharm. Maybe I should switch over to that. Um, I wonder if that'd be easy. PyCharm. I'll do. It. Oh, it has those lines. Yeah, I really wanted those lines. Feature of the year. Those lines. 
Uh, but all right, I'll just suffer. I'll just suffer on for now. Uh, all right, so now, uh, so now. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, so, um, right, so now we, uh, so now we have our, our group match experience or whatever. I don't know. What, <laughs> what are you calling that? We have our, uh, our, um, we have our match object with its group whatevers. Oh, how do I check the length of the group? Oh, yeah, wait, no, if I, oh, right, so, huh. I actually, I don't know, maybe I just want the Maybe I only really care about the, all the results, so maybe I should just pass in index zero to get the entire match. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Uh, and then, because, yeah, just the list of, um, just having the list of, uh, or just having, like, the tuple. Um, I know how to, I know how to work with that. <laughs> Um, oh, cool. Yeah, people said, uh, people said, um, nice things about PyCharm, so, uh, Tom included. Uh, Tom in chat says, PyCharm is an amazing IDE and is completely free and has really helped me throughout my Python development, so, yeah. Cool. I'll probably switch over to that, just not, um, not right now. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to do that. So, actually, we, so, I wonder if I can, I, can I just, like, go right for the group? Can I just go, like, no, probably not. I don't know. Uh, group, right? Group, yeah. It'd be convenient if I could just go right for it, but I don't know if that's, I don't know if it's going to like that. Uh, is that legit? I wonder. Uh, so yeah, so for now I'll just say uh, for uh, for what? For i in range uh, 0 len actually can I just say i in can I just say uh, can I just say line or for for li in uh, research, this could fail for a number of reasons. <laughs> just print, uh, just print. Uh... Oh, cool. Yeah, I've, uh, sorry, uh, Thomas in chat is talking about Windows versions, and I've just kind of learned to deal with Windows eight. Actually, the, the happiest thing for me was when I realized that, or when someone told me that I could, if I hit the Windows key, I can just start typing, and it'll automatically start searching. Because that was, like, the thing that I used the most that I didn't realize you could still do in Windows 8. Which, apparently, you couldn't actually do in Windows 8. It wasn't until Windows 8.1 that they brought that back or something. I don't know. But n as long, now that I can do that, I'm like, eh, whatever. Uh, all right, so what will this do, I wonder? Uh, yes, kill the old process. Uh, oh, and also kill the timing. Oh, or I can just delay events. Did that work? I don't know. I'm gonna see if it works. We'll find out if it works. It might not work. So now, now I'll say uh, this uh, event is for testing. Period. Celsius. Celsius. I say. Yep. That didn't. <laughs> it didn't like that. <laughs> uh. Search takes at least two arguments. Oh, oh, right. I gave it the ex I gave it what to search for, but I never told it where to search. Uh, right. So we're searching in um, EV text, right? Yeah, EV text. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> Good call on that one. All right, so, uh, so run. Yes. And, uh, delay events. I forget if events are delayed naturally or not. Um, all right, so, uh, this event, uh, is whatever, um, Excelsior. None type object has no attribute group. All right, so I can't, I can't jump as quickly to the gun as I would have liked. So uh, I'll have to do group zero again. So, uh, oh, maybe I wonder if I can just do, if I can just do this. Uh, I don't want to make a whole bunch of unnecessary variables just to search into the res match results and then match results into the tuple. I don't know. Let's just cut to the chase. Can, can we? <laughs> events. Uh, this event copy and paste. <laughs> and I'm going to put that on my clipboard so I can stop typing it again and again and again. Uh, Excelsior. Uh, none object has no attribute group. None type object has no attribute group. Did I forget to save? Because I'm definitely not dealing with a none type object anymore. Save, 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 save. I'm gonna mash save a million times until it works. Save, 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 save. Save, 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 save. Alright, maybe that works. That was not scientific. Uh delay events. Uh alright. Um Oops. Oh. My clipboard. Uh what uh, 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 I don't care. <laughs> Excelsior. None type object has no attribute group. So, you're being ridiculous at this point. <laughs> Python. Um, uh, <laughs> thank you, Tom. Oh, yeah, I don't pay attention to chat as much when it's on my other computer, so I'll, uh, I'll put it back on this computer. Not that one, this one. Uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, thank you. I, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. I like it. I, I, uh, yeah, so once it, once we get these features up and running, the next thing on the docket, that, I mean, I was planning on, th what I was planning on doing today in the first place is actually adding, like, cooler graphics to it. So, yeah, it should, like, in the not-too-distant future, it might actually start to seem like a real project and everything. Um, so that'll be cool. It could be cool. We'll find out if that's cool or not. So what's this none type object business? Because I was told that research is going to return a uh, match object, not a none type object. Do I have to? Uh. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> um. <laughs> then ask the internet if the internet has gotten this error before and what they did about it. That Erla has a value of none. Oh. What? Returns none? No. That's crazy talk. How on that how on that, how on earth could that happen? Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. I mean, I'm seeing like Beast four five six seven. Uh, but I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. Um, but hey, um, I uh, so I'm not currently accepting donations right now. Um, if you mean in the monetary form, I'm not currently accepting donations right now. And if you mean in the um, in the game asset form, um, the current project is not a collaborative project. It's a, it's a personal project. Um, I'll probably be doing another collaborative game in the uh, 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 sorry, so many things going on in chat right now. Uh, probably sometime in the near future. So uh, if you if you if you're interested in that sort of thing, uh, you can follow me on Twitter, and I'll let, I'll, I'll announce like the next time one of the, I'm going to do something like that. We just did it like, not last week, but the week before. Um, 
like a week and a half ago, um, and uh, so it'll, it'll be a little little time before we do it again. But um. <laughs> um, again, unfortunately, I'm not taking donations right now. <laughs> but um, thank you, <laughs> thank you for your kind offer. Um, yeah, so Mr. Max Meyer, that's that is that is even weirder actually because uh, I was. Like I was adding in, I was I was I was uh, I was using terms like this, right, which very clearly match that pattern. Uh, the words begin. They have this the action symbol, and then they have a number of characters afterwards. So that's actually even weirder. Um, yeah, and I, I did just come to that same realization reading over uh, reading the, over this page. Um, but yeah, no, that's that is strange. <laughs> That's, um, no, that's just legit weird. It's also, frankly, it's also a little lame that, like, they can't just, like, keep a, a rea realistic format and, um, and just ha return something zero length, in my opinion. But, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, alright, so, okay. <laughs> Sorry, you're on a, um, you're on a timeout for language. Uh, I, we don't we don't talk like that here. Uh, so, uh, sorry, I kind of should have warned you when you were on the line because your previous the previous thing you said was on the line, and uh, yeah, uh, I only give you a one hour timeout. So, uh, I should probably start with actually. You know what? I'm the, I'm thinking in the habit of starting with just a purge and then wait for the repeat offense. I don't know. I try and be fair, but hey, we got a new follower, which is not showing up for some reason. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, hey, we, well, okay, cool. Well, <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I had to use mod tools on you. I didn't. Uh, I don't like using mod tools, but uh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate your viewership and your support. Um, uh, uh, so yeah, what is <laughs> what's the deal with this uh, regex? Does it just not like? Does it just not like that? Um, I'm like do, doing like math to 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 make this string like, or am I just bad at regex? Like, hmm, I don't know. So, let's see how these this person's using it. Uh, wait, pattern? What? Yeah, no, their patterns are. Their patterns are strings. Hmm. Uh, sorry, just one sec. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, alright, so, uh... What, uh... What's up here? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that should be right. Unless unless I used um like slash B or slash W wrong. Uh regex uh backslash B B cat B Oh Oh no, no. Uh Oh. Oh. Actually, maybe I shouldn't look for... Maybe I should omit B. Just for various reasons. Various other reasons. Yeah. I think I'm going to omit B. Yeah. I don't expect this to fix it, but... Um, it'd be neat if it did. <laughs> Heck, let's see if it did. <laughs> um... So the events. Uh, all right. So whatever. Uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. All right. Whatever. Excelsior. Uh, and now it just magically works. All right. So either I was using B wrong. I didn't actually want to be using B anyways. So. Whoa. Wait. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
<laughs> Why did it print all of these things? Oh, because for one thing... Yeah, no, it only printed the correct thing, because I have the correct thing still printing. Um, let's see... Let's, de let's deactivate that for a second. That way... Um, that way we can uh, test the new thing. Because, alright, so it at least wasn't as bad anymore, but like, what is this? What is this business? For... Wait, what? No, I don't know. Let's try this again. Alright, I'll just be more deliberate uh, this time, since at least it's not going to error. And I should also error catch it, right? Because, uh... Because, uh... I don't want it to crash if, on the case of invalid input. Uh, I just want it to like do something benign. Uh, anyways, uh, so yeah, all right. So cat, shoe, shoe, <laughs> dog, face. Cat shoe dog face, of course. Everyone's favorite event. So Excelsior. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? This is. This regex group thing is not working how the documentation described it. It said if uh, it said if I just asked for group zero, that it would return everything. Oh, wait, no, it said that in the sample, but actually, in the doc, it did, it it didn't say that. Yeah, in the sample, it says the entire match, but up in the docs, it says without arguments. Oh, it defaults to zero, so those should be synonymous. So I don't need to put in the zero, because it's redundant, but um, I don't expect that to, this to change anything. <sighs> this is weird. And why is it printing? <laughs> so it's oh oh yeah. So this is probably not legit because in the case that it only has one single result, it probably will just return that single result, and it'll do the spell it out thing that <laughs> that we were seeing instead of... But that doesn't explain... Mm. No, that, this is weird. This is weird. Weird stuff, you guys. Delay events. Uh, whoops. Today. Did the, the event... No, I got it. Okay. So, alright. Same, same event. Cat, shoe, dog face. Everyone's favorite event. Uh, Excelsior. Yeah, again. It's just... It's a liar and a cheat, you guys. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so what happens if I put in, like, an awful index that obviously is not legit? Can it, can, can it handle that? Because if it can't handle that, then I'm going to be kind of annoyed. Alright, so we clearly don't have that many things. Uh, so... Start over. Delay events. I should probably just delay the events manually so I don't have to keep doing it here. Um, so yeah, same thing. Excelsior. Yay, an error. Perfect. Uh, so, alright, well let's see if it, let's see if it, see if this is even actually getting back all of the matches, or if it's just getting back, uh, the first match. So, uh, We'll try index one because there are if there's an index zero and the index zero is cat then index one should be dog although that's not what the docs say so anyways <laughs> uh, oh <laughs> um all right that sounds good uh, Mr Max Meyer um I mean it's weird because like why would <laughs> like search versus find, find all for all right, anyways. Um, <laughs> so weird, so weird. All so weird. All so ridiculous and weird. Alright, does this work though? No, it doesn't even Doesn't even, you guys. It just doesn't even. Uh alright. So that's pathetic. <laughs> what a sad little a <laughs> little set of tools. Um, so why does it... Gosh, it's so proud of that, too. It's like, hey, look, first thing, search. Uh, zero or more characters at the beginning of the string match this regular expression. Sure. Split. 
uh, find all. Wait, what? <laughs> How, um, so it says find all, and then it accepts a string. Shouldn't it accept two strings? Because, <laughs> like, what are you finding? <laughs> or what are you looking in? <laughs> uh... Uh, <laughs> it'd be nice if they had examples for this. Uh, so, <laughs> let's find out how that, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, uh, Python regex, uh, find, or I'll just do read, uh, find all. Uh, examples, yeah, that'd be nice. Oop, find all, not fin all. Um, so, oh, the docs say, <sighs> why, why are you so weird docs? Uh, all right, uh, have a nice, have a nice meal, uh, Verlis. So, uh. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> it's a little weird that like they like this is on re, right? It's like why why in the docs for re would it say use one argument? Because if you use one argument on re, like <laughs> what are you doing with your life? I guess is the important question there. Um, yeah, right. I think Python is, like, pretty strange, like, inherently strange. Like, that's my experience with it so far. And then, uh, regex is, like, regex is really complicated, right? I don't know. Arguably, that's strange, too. But I, I don't know enough about it to know whether it's just complicated or if it's legit strange. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, the intersection between the two. I, like, you can kind of see here, like, I really, I was trying to avoid it. Like, when I, when I didn't need need it. I, um, I avoided it at all costs. <laughs> um, all right, so let's see if this works better. Uh, search equals, uh, so yeah, so find all, uh, yeah. Let's see what this does. Oh, except, uh, oh, wait, no. And now we just, uh, now we can just do that instead. Oh, yeah. So is this going to do, it might, so in the case that there's only one, it might still do the uh, spelling it out letter by letter thing. Which, if that's the case, I'll have to uh, change. Oh, and I don't. I, uh, Vinny, hey, welcome to the stream. Uh, thanks for tuning in. How's it going? Uh, with uh, so right instead of hitting the delay button a million times. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't actually have to be doing that. Good. Uh, good. All right. Uh, so yeah, is it cat shoe dog face? Excelsior, cat dog. Yeah, we did it. All right. So what about the case where there's only one? What's it going to do then? Uh, Excelsior. Oh, wait, no, that just ended the previous event. Uh, blah, blah. Oh, ooh, and actually, this might have solved the uh, formatting thing. What, what? Oh, because the event ended. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. Why do you keep doing that? Oh, because I'm not resetting? Yeah, okay, so I'm terminating the event. Wait, yikes. <laughs> Good thing I have that chat filter in, uh, so that, so that, um, I'm doing well, thanks. Yeah, we're working on a, um, working on a kind of a neat project. Well, I think it's neat, uh, because it's my project. Um, but we're working on, like, a, um, like a side quest for the, uh, stream, uh, which will be, like, kind of like a, it's, it's like, kind of like a text adventure, kind of like a multi-user dungeon, kind of like a, a tabletop role-playing type game that happens, like, during the stream. It, it, we're not going to change the theme of the stream. It's still going to be a game dev stream, but this I'm calling it the side quest because it'll just kind of be, like, another little thing that's happening. Uh, and uh, uh, hope, hopefully it'll be amusing. Uh, I, so I, I, 
I gave myself the option to terminate events, but I apparently did not do it correctly because, uh, yeah, right. So we're we're terminating the or we're saying the event. <laughs> Literally, all we're doing is saying that the event is terminated. So yeah, no. What I have to do is I have to say event uh, on is false. Oh wait. Oh no, that happens in overtime. Right. So event played equals false. Event on equals false. Event and event time equals frame time. Uh, actually, that's not true. No, uh, it'll be it'll be slightly different because hey, we got a uh, new follower, Vinny. Uh, I appreciate your viewership and your support. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, right, so we're not doing the exact same things here. Oh, so but we're doing very similar things. Maybe I can I might be able to simplify this logic a little bit. So I could say. No, it's, it's different enough that I'm just going to keep it separate. It, it looks vaguely similar. It's vaguely similar because event on will get falsified. And event played... Actually, I don't think event played actually has to get falsified here. And I know falsified it doesn't mean what I'm saying it to mean. But, um, whatever. Uh, why does it actually... I don't think it actually has to even get falsified here either. If over time... Yeah, I don't think it actually has to get falsified here either. But I'm not going to change that. <laughs> this is probably not hurting anything. <laughs> um, right, so no, what I have to do is say event on equals false and event time... Uh, event time... Equ oh yeah, no, event time equals frame time plus event uh, cooldown. Is that... Yeah, event cooldown. Uh... Yeah, I think that's legit. All right, save that. Uh, so yeah, the thing I wanted to test was uh, if I get if it, okay. So what if I just do cat? I mean, that's a really lame event. I shouldn't do that, but oh, it still works. It still works. Ah, you guys, this is great. Uh, we got regex doing things, uh, <laughs> which is really, it's just really exciting to me. Because <laughs> um, it's way simpler now. Ooh, it took a little bit to uh, to get it working, but then. Uh, but then, uh, now that it is working, uh, oh, I'm going to test event terminated. I should, right? Because it wasn't working a second ago. So cat. So I'm going to terminate this event. Event terminated once, and then it goes back to normal. And it goes super back to normal. Cool. Look at that. Wait, was that, what is the cooldown? Because that was really fast. What, the cool, is the cooldown just like, the cooldown should be 10 seconds. Was that really 10 seconds? That felt, that felt really fast. Uh, I'm going to put it up to 15 seconds. Uh, I'm going to try that again, actually. So, uh, hoist. Uh, how long? Yeah, this event shouldn't last very long. Because the event duration is only 15 seconds. Uh, cool, so, oops. Alright, well that was, a, that was a weird event, or whatever. But, uh, alright, so now when I hit Excelsior again, it should terminate this event and then it should it should wait 15 full seconds before starting the next event excelsior one two th that was not 15 seconds weird i don't know what that's about because event cooldown is 15 and we're using event cooldown right yeah we're using event cooldown frame time no, frame time is fine. <laughs> what are we doing to... Maybe maybe this is getting overridden somehow? Or maybe I do have to set event played to false? I don't see how event... Like, event played really shouldn't be true in that case. Uh... Hey, we got a new follower, um, Awfulbomb. Uh, welcome to the stream. Thank you for uh, thank you for your viewership and your support. Uh, uh, yeah, and thanks for tuning in. 
Um, so, uh, yeah, I feel like over event time must be getting overridden somewhere because it is not waiting <laughs> the full event time <laughs> to, uh, It's not waiting that it's not waiting even like a fraction really like it's waiting like it felt like like two or three seconds not like anything else is it all right well just to just to see a little bit of what's going on there let's um oh well hmm. i guess we could look at it i don't use the variable inspector or variable explorer as much as i could so yeah all right i'll just look at what it's doing Alright, so uh, swing, and then let's get this thing ready. Uh, so at the end of this event, I'm going to start a new event, which will be really lame, because it'll just be, use that text. Uh, but, whatever. Uh, Alright, so now let's look at what's happening with... Uh, uh, I'm just going to move the panel off screen for a second. So what is happening with event time? Right? Event time event time. So it's like, oh yeah, I forgot. These numbers are funny because they're like time represented as numbers. But uh, all right, so if I hit Excelsior, that number should jump up. But I guess event time. Is event time not the value that I'm looking for here? I thought it was. Huh. Yeah. All right. So let's look. Let's look into how this is actually regulated. Um, I'm pre event global. Yeah. No, not global time. Event on. Call avail. Uh. Wait. What call? Wait. What is this call avail business? Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's not really directly related. Uh, so, wait, what, so yeah, if curve, curve live and event time less than frame time. Oh, is it this one? Curve. Oh, right. No. No, that wouldn't... No, this isn't even... This is... No, this isn't even... Right, it's the part where we're... It's this that's... What is it? Where is it? It's this... No, no, no. It's this that's... No. Where is it? <laughs> it's the part where we... Uh... It's the intro. So is it... Um... Is it an event that's occurring? Oh, are we never setting an event to false? No, we're doing that right here. Hmm. Hmm. So, yeah, where is it that we say the intro? Yeah, no, this is the part where we say the intro. Oh. Well, we're setting an event to false, which is actually not incorrect, because we changed it, so an event should be zero, not false. Um, but I don't, I don't feel like that would be responsible for, for this. Or would it? No, because event, in order for that to happen, event would have to equal two. So where's an event getting set to two? Because that's happening, that's clearly happening. Uh... All right, so it's this case. It's the else case to, uh, oh. Oh. Or it's the else case to the event time frame time thing. So that, that would explain it. <laughs> um. No, 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 it's not. No, it's the else case to event on, right? 
I could really use those lines, considering how long this is. Yeah, no, it's the it's the else case two event on. I maybe I'll switch over to PyCharm just to get those lines, because <laughs> gosh, is this long? Um, hopefully that won't take too long. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> uh, so get PyCharm now, please. Oh, well, I didn't realize it was paid. Hopefully the community version is still not awful. Don't email me. I'm not going to give you my email address, but I just don't like that checkbox, checkbox being checked. Oh, that's big. All right, well, that's downloading. I'll uh, see what I can do. <laughs> it's got to be the it's got to be the alternative to event played, right? Or no, excuse me, not event played, but event on. I guess I could just count. Uh, uh, so if this is this is the distance for event on. Uh, no, yeah, no, that's the so the alternative to event on. And I'm saying event on equals false, and I'm setting event. Or no, oh, where is it? I'm set, yeah, I'm saying event on equals false, and I'm saying. It's just rude. That is impolite. Uh, Oh no! It is. It is. It's this. It's evaluating on this other one, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, conclude event equals false. Uh, that's that's the, that was the missing that was the missing step. All right. Sorry. Uh. Uh. Cur ev. Uh. Dot conclude. Con conclude event uh, equals false. Capital F false. There we go. Uh, yeah. Alright. Not a huge deal, but I, it was it was irksome. Because in the future, the delay won't just be 15 seconds, it'll be like a matter of minutes, so it'll be weird for it to happen immediately when it's supposed to wait for several minutes. Uh, Alright. So... I probably won't try and switch IDs uh, live sh in the middle of the stream because that can have fun consequences. So I'll probably do that uh, at another time and just uh, continue on with this for now. All right. So uh, uh, yeah, what's up now? I'm gonna um, sorry. I'm just gonna crack a snack. Uh, I, so sorry, sloshing noises uh, as I shake up this tomato juice that I will sip on so as to maintain sustenance during the stream. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Mm -hmm. Slashing noises. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Alright, so yeah, now let's switch over to using the regex, the regex that seems to be working for us. Uh, we can basically just get rid of this. I won't get rid of it yet yet because uh, I'm going, I want to make sure that it, that the new stuff I'm adding is satisfactory. But I mean, the gist of it is pretty simple. Because uh, I just have to say, excuse me. Um, so instead of print, excuse me, instead of printing li, I will, I will get rid of that line. And I'll bring back this other thing. Uh, so we'll say, uh, so new ev uh, dot actions. Uh, action sy or no, we don't have to add the action symbol anymore because the action symbol is here. Uh, so we can just say li uh, equals one. Oh, and so w yeah, we're setting this to one for no reason. This like one is a meaningless value here. However, when we add in multi, we're going that we're, this is one of the things that we're going to change. So instead of just setting them all equal to one, we're the 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 dictionary entries will keep track of their indexes so that um, we can conveniently allow people to select multiple entries uh, without having to go crazy with uh, with, uh, with with how that all works so huh actually how is that gonna work oh 
I hope I can, I hope, I hope I can set, I haven't really thought about this before, but I hope I can just, like, manually set, um, just, uh, like, like, manually punch in, um, Whoa, my brain, like, completely lost what it was. <laughs> uh, manually punching. Oh, yeah, no, uh, dictionary inches. Like, I hope I don't have to, like, extract the contents and then, uh, uh, and then modify them and then put them back in. No, hopefully I can just modify them. No, yeah, no. I, I really hope I can just modify them as is. Because, like, I'm putting a tuple inside a dictionary. Like, it's going to be a dictionary of tuples. And it'd be, it'd be way more convenient if I could just, like, edit the entries rather than having to set the... Hey, welcome back, uh, Beast. Yeah, sorry about earlier. Um, yeah, so the, just generally, like, we use polite language here. Uh, <laughs> I should probably put that in, like, some people put that, like, in their, like, bio section, like, what, what to expect from the channel. And, uh, yeah, I should probably do that. I'll write a note to myself to do that. Uh, so, uh... Explain, uh, language, or explain moderation, no, just, uh, whatever, language, uh, parameters, uh, in bio, alright, uh, cause, it's, I, yeah, it's an, yeah, I, I really don't like using those tools, uh, so, yeah, is that it, I think this is it, right, I think we, I, can, I think we can basically get rid of all this other stuff now. Uh, so I will, uh... <laughs> Alright, so this is not your first time at the radio. I take it. <laughs> um, Alright, I can cut out this whole shebang. Uh, and just in case I need it again, I'm going to put it uh, over here. Uh, just in case I need to bring it back for whatever reason. But I think this should work now, so, uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. Oh, did I test that other thing? Because if I haven't tested that other thing, I should test that other thing, too. So, all right, so, uh, potato, or potato, uh, hat, what an event. Oh, I might as well test it out with a lot of things. So, like, shoe, uh, laser, uh, guitar. Excelsior. Look at that. Guitar, laser, potato, hat, shoe. Yay! <laughs> and now, let's see if it works. Shoo. And, uh, where's my other one? Uh, potato. Swift, <laughs> Swift action. Initiative bonus. Oh, I want to change the point scale, too. Uh, hopefully I'll remember to do that. Uh, so, potato. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, Excelsior. Nice! Potato. Three. <laughs> Three experience. <laughs> and nice shoe. Also three experience. Alright, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, this will make more sense once the whole, once the whole, whole system is up and working. Uh, are you serious? Oh. Alright, sorry. Um, there's, I, I know someone like that, which makes me think that you are that person. Which is, you know, because the multiple accounts thing, you never know who the, who, who owns the new accounts. Anyways, uh, that's interesting. <laughs> no, I lied, that wasn't interesting, but, uh, <laughs> um, oh yeah, so if anyone wants to play along, the chat's, the bot's gonna be up and down, but, um, because I'm still working on the bot, uh, I don't, I'm not subjecting you guys to, in, like, in this chat, uh, channel. So it doesn't work on mobile. Like you can't, um, you can't go to this channel on mobile. But if you go, um, if you're on PC or like you know some other uh, something where you can open like multiple browser windows, you can uh, check out Journey Bot Chat. That, so that's where the testing is taking place. And you're welcome to play along. Uh, there might be some situations where I'll need to you know do do some specific testing, but um, I can usually work around the general uh, participation and. Uh, worst case scenario, I have like controls that I can use to uh, to make sure that everything goes to plan. <laughs> um, I, I have like I have oops, I have a uh, I basically have a cheat system that I can make it so that it only responds to my input. So, um, well, you said you. 
I thought... Alright, sorry. So on the sim chance that you are that guy, and it's probably actually not even a sim chance, I'm, I'm not going to be engaging with you, uh, but you're, of course, welcome to spectate, and as long as your contributions to chat are, uh, are like, suitable and not offensive, then uh, you're welcome to chat as well. Uh, so, um... Yeah, the points point scale. I want to change the point scale. Um, so, for example, the initiative bonus. I want it'll ju it'll only be one point from now on. Triple uh, A Studios is like um, big studios. Like Triple uh, A is kind of like the alternative to indie. Sometimes they're not literally alternatives, but like you know, like with indie projects, they tend to be like smaller smaller teams, like fewer people. But so like Triple A in contrast. Uh, and again, these aren't like literal because there is such thing as like Triple A indie, but. Um, AAA tends to be, uh, like, bigger teams, like, uh, yeah, right, so, uh, like, bigger teams, uh, like, you know, big companies, like, major publishers, like, the whole shebang, like, uh, you know, like, the, basically, like, the big leagues, or, like, you know, like, the, the, mate, like, the, uh, the, so, like, all of the, what do you think of as, like, the, uh, oh, uh, so, so, we're working on a, I'm calling it, like, a, a side quest, hey, we got, scope, 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 Hey, welcome! How's it going? Welcome to the channel. Speaking of someone with a million accounts, uh, <laughs> thank you for your viewership and your support. I appreciate it. Um, so the game we're working on today is, I'm calling it a side quest for the stream. Uh, I, and actually, I guess I can show like how the visuals are going to work at some point. And actually, I, I want to... Sorry, I got distracted with other features, but actually the thing that I want to do, start doing today is actually adding in the new visuals. Um, so... Uh, uh, that information is in my uh, is in my frequent asked questions. If you scroll down, um, uh, so uh, right, yeah, all right. So the sorry, the visuals are not very they're not coming along very far yet. But um, here, if I run the script, uh, whoops, we can get this out of the way, and then uh, so now you can kind of see like down on the bottom of the screen, there's like little dudes marching across. So the way this is going to work is okay. So I have my panel here, and so uh, I can um, I can I can like I can, uh, well, so, okay, so currently it's playing in another chat channel, but I'm going to move it over to this channel when it's done. Uh, so, like, I can, so, it's supposed to be, like, so this is my panel where I can, like, type in events, I've been calling them, and so basically, like, um, I don't know, like, so some examples of events, like, a riot breaks out in the middle of town square, will you, uh, command shout for justice, command subdue the rabble rousers, or command cower in fear? And so, when an event takes place, so like I can I can type it in here and uh, and then I hit the the go button, and then the event goes live, and so then uh, you know people can using chat they can they can choose actions and they can participate and like there there are different strategies, uh, yeah right so uh, sorry yeah so the bot's going up and down but um, so you're welcome to, to try out the uh, the journey bot uh, channel if you'd like to try and play along it's a little confusing because of stream delay but um, and like the bot's constantly going up and down but. Um, uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm downloading PyCharm, and, uh, I'll probably install it later, because I just realized, uh, <laughs> um, I'm not rich, Beast. I'm gonna call you Beast, if that's okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's so, okay, uh, hopefully that, uh, sorry, sorry, that was a little scattered shot, uh, Gizmoke, but, um, hopefully that covers the gist of it, uh, alright, so, uh, yeah, and so, uh, at some point today, once I get these, these last few features up, uh, <laughs> once I, <laughs> once I get these last few features, uh, online, I am going to, uh, start working on the, the visuals, because, uh, yeah, like, um, so the, the idea of the game is that, like, we're all a group of adventurers, like, exploring together, and, uh, well, like, ever, ever, technically I'm in that group, but I'm also the DM, I'm, like, the Dungeon Master type, uh, player, so I, I kind of control the fate of the group, but, uh, yeah, no, the idea is that we're all, like, these, uh, these adventurers, and so, like, what's, the temp art that's scrolling across the bottom of the screen is, like, just a, just, adve just, like, all these level one adventurers, like, scrolling across the screen, but there's actually gonna have, like, um, you know, there's going to be, like, character development, you gain experience as you play the game, and, um, and then, uh, and then, uh, <laughs> thank you, Aaron, <laughs> for explaining that. <laughs> I actually couldn't afford a full shirt, so I, I, I only, I could only afford the collar and a little bit of the shoulder, so it looks like I'm wearing a shirt now. Um, 
uh, yeah, so there's going to be, like, character development, and, like, so, uh, so, like, each, each, each player will have their own little adventure that marches across the screen based on their participation in the events, and, yeah, so, uh, hopefully uh, we'll get to working on, uh, the visuals soon, because I did, that's what, that's why I named my stream new visuals. Uh, I, I also, I don't know, I don't have a, like, I don't have anything going on this evening, so I don't have, like, a specific end date, or, uh, stop time, so I might, um, I might get a good, good amount of the visuals work done today, maybe? I don't know. Cross my fingers. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, I think, um, I think it helps that, um, <laughs> I don't know if I'll go quite that far, but, uh, you know, I mean, it could be a sizable chunk. I actually had to shut down a little earlier yesterday because, uh, because chat was down, and it was really hard to make a chat game while chat was down. <laughs> um, yeah, I have a friend who's who's uh, who goes by five, six, seven, eight. So I think I'm just I I recognize consecutive number patterns uh, uh, well because of that. Or, uh... <laughs> oh, cool! What uh, what type of stuff are you studying, uh, Gizmo? Like, what type of what type of stuff are you doing in school? Oh, you told me I should, but then, um, and I was thinking I would, but then, uh, I was running late and then I looked online and it actually wasn't even taking place where I thought it was taking place. So it was much further away and I was already late. And so by the time I got there, it would have been super late. And so like the way they do it is like the first thing they do is like they break up into groups. And so I'm sure by the time I got there, I, I like all the groups would have been decided already. And, um. So I didn't. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> um, but you know what I'll do instead is I'll uh, I'll get write-in events working. Maybe uh, that could be that should be interesting, right? Um, oh no, points first. Okay, yeah, changing the point scale first. Uh, and actually, I'll I'm gonna deactivate the. No, I'll just I'll leave the little dudes marching across the screen. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> um, the point of, I mean, the, the, the point of today's stream is supposed to be about those little dudes, so. All right, so yeah, scoring is going to change a little bit. For one thing, we're getting rid of great. It's going back to just nice and perfect. Um, or it could go great and perfect. Nice. Yeah, it'll be great and perfect. Uh, so we'll get rid of, uh, we'll get rid of, uh, well, okay, actually, no, we can get rid of this one. Uh, and uh, so now two will be great. Or no, two will be perfect. Perfect. And uh, one will be great. Uh, great. Uh, and, but yeah, no, there, there won't be a three anymore, is one of the things that we're taking out. And uh, so, yeah, all right, so I have to, uh, I have to change a few things. Uh, yeah, so this is, this is no longer three, this is now two. Um, these are all twos and not threes. Uh, I should probably use like a variable for this so that I don't have to hunt, hunt down all the, oh no, that one says, that one says three. So I don't have to hunt down all the cases, but it's basically all the, all the B dict. Oh yeah. I can just look for all the instances of B dict. Um, so B dict two. Oh yeah. So no, it's, it's not random between zero and oh wait oh oh that's interesting random no i guess this actually can still say stay zero to two because um yeah previously you could never get a perfect on a zero but hmm. um <laughs> thank you gizmo you know what's funny gizmo is that um I've never worked on a project like this before. Uh, a, a month, about a month ago, like I haven't been working on this project for a month, but I started it like a month ago, and I've been working on it like on and off with a few other projects. Um, I start about a month ago. I was like, I want to make this thing. I this is like I have an idea for a thing that would be interesting, and I'm I think I'm gonna make it. And so then I started looking up, like, okay, how do you make bots? How do you make how do you make chat bots? How do you make 
like what what do, what do people do to 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 make projects that use like that sort like that are even similar to that and so people were using python and so i was like all right so i'll learn python i'll start i'll start getting better like i had a little bit of background with python like just a just a little smidge um but yeah so i was just like all right so I've been spending a lot of time, like, reading docs. Like, you'll see, like, my browser is, like, filled up with, like, pages and pages of docs. Because everything I need, if everything I want to do, I have to, like, look it up. But, um, yeah, I, one thing that I, I really try and encourage people to do is, um, like, try something. Like, if you want to do something, like, do it. Because uh, I, personally, I find, like, that doing is a great way to learn. So, you know, when I start on something like this, like... Within the first week, I had, like, the very core, very fundamental version of this, this uh, project up and running. And then, like, within the first month, like, I'm, I'm already putting in, like, features that I think are pretty good. Like, like uh, I mean, we're, we're getting close to, like, feature complete. Not re I mean, I mean that's, that's an exaggeration because, like, the whole visual system is going to be a lot of work. But, like, like the, the core game systems are, like, are almost there. <laughs> so, yeah, go for it. If you, yeah, work on the projects that interest you because... Uh, because you'll figure it out as you go, right? Uh, oh, sorry. Aaron posted a, an image of... Uh, what is this? <laughs> is, that, is that appropriate to show on stream? <laughs> um. <laughs> um. <laughs> Alright. Uh, <laughs> so, what were we doing? We were, oh, we were changing the scoring system. So, BDICT. Did we get all the cases of BDICT? We want it to... Alright, no, we didn't yet. Uh, so, we want it to max out at 2. So, now... Uh, so, now... A perfect score... So, now, uh, the normal score is 2 points. The, a great score is 3 points. And a perfect score is 4 points. You can still get five points per round, but in order to get a full five points per round, you have to uh, you have to also get the initiative bonus. Uh, so the initiative bonus is currently two points. So it used to be that you could get five points and then the initiative was two extra points, but I think I'd rather keep it on the scale of like four and five rather than five and seven. Uh, so initiative. Hey, we got a new follower. Gizmo, welcome to the team. Or uh, welcome to the party. Uh, I appreciate your viewership and your support. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, <laughs> um, you work on the moon? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> What's it like up there? Is it weird, like, looking up at the sky and seeing Earth and, like, thinking, hey, that's where everyone else is? Do you hang out with the people on the International Space Station? Um, all right, so yeah, this is actually Pedict Ike. Yeah, all right, uh, this is actually one, one bonus experience. All right, balance, game balance. Oh, seriously, Comega, you troll face troll, you troll face troll face troll. <sighs> Well, I like your current name better than Comega, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till you get yourself banned again before banning you. Sometimes I ban you prematurely. <laughs> Sometimes I just proactively ban you because I know you'll get banned eventually. I'm um, sorry. Yeah, uh, some of you might remember uh, Beast as our. Um, as a as a, a former viewer and also another streamer apparently, uh, his name's Comega or like X Comega X. Um, <laughs> he's banned from this channel, <laughs> but apparently he he enjoys making <clears throat> making new accounts to uh, to come back and troll. Uh, yes, all right. So the trick is, you, so so Beast. The trick to getting the song request played is to open it and play it on your computer while you watch the stream. It's, it's a cool trick, isn't it? I actually, it's this advanced feature that I came up with where, uh, so instead, all the song requests for my stream, instead of playing them on my stream, they get automatically magically played on your own computer when you play them. Uh, what I mean by that is, 
like I don't like streams that play music because I oftentimes don't like their taste in music and I prefer to listen to my own music. So th one of the reasons, one of the big reasons I don't play music on this stream is because I expect that you are all probably listening to your own music right now and it's probably all different.